Welcome to Winning Combination. I'm Amit Jalili. It's too late now. You've started watching. You have to finish. I don't make the rules. Wasabi, I thought wasabi was avocado once. I took a whole glop and I actually saw my own nostrils. <laughs> so what is this about you and pigs? I saw some pigs one day and I thought I'd love to get three pigs and name after my three daughters. Your daughter's called Bacon, Sausage and Ham. Well, they will be now. <laughs> I'm cabin crew. I'll have a gin and tonic and a blanket, please. <laughs> You're a bit of a comedy fan, you know? I do like comedy, yeah. Have you seen me? Now I have. Good, well done. <laughs> I'm right in front of you, baby. Um, I'm a support worker for the NHS. Being here is like being on the NHS. You get a lot of applause and very little money. So, <laughs> do you remind me what you do as well? I'm a solicitor, on it. What is your connection to Erin Brockovich? Well, I do industrial disease law, so it's a bit like her, but um, I've just got better hair, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a drama teacher. Uh, I teach from between four upwards to about 18, normally. I'll give you a tip, a great way to get drama from a four-year-old. Hide their Lego. <laughs> Um, I'm a tour guide in Harrow School. Is that, now, Harrow School is where they shot Harry Potter, wasn't it? Yes. I auditioned for Harry Potter, but uh, the part of Hermione went to Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> so you were robbed. I was robbed, exactly. Do you have, a, do you have any other jobs or any other interests? Um, I play golf quite a lot. Have you played with anyone interesting, anyone fancy? Well, um, I marshal once a year at the Dunhill Open, which is a pro-am tournament. OK. And I was, somebody was walking towards me, and it was Hugh Grant. So he was looking for his ball, and it just landed to the side of me. So he found his ball in there. So, <laughs> so you helped Hugh Grant find, <laughs> find one his, of his ball balls. in a boot. <laughs> Clever theme. Uh, in 2012, I competed in the Mr. Gay Canada competition. And how did you do? I was voted Mr. Congeniality. Is that because you looked like Sandra Bullock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a surveyor. Have you always been a surveyor? No, not always. Uh, well, I was a saucepan salesman. Uh, oh, non stick Nick. Hey. Um, and before that, I was a chocolate salesman for Cadbury's. You gave up being a chocolate salesman to be a quantity surveyor. I know. I was pretty bad, yeah. I, 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 let, do you know what? Tr sell me some chocolate now. Try it. Want to buy some chocolate? I'll buy some! <laughs> <laughs> My main hobby, I would say, um, is visiting and trying to escape from escape rooms. I don't buy this. Don't you think it's just a question of you having lost your keys? <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. I'm cabin crew. And have you always been cabin crew? Uh, no, I'm in my second year of the job. I used to work at Cabri World. Used to work where? Cabri World. And you left Cabri World? Yeah. <laughs> what are you, an idiot? <laughs> Mentioned in the song Food Glorious Food. Um, I will go sausage to start with because I believe it's hot sausage and custard. Mustard. <laughs> Not a sausage. Oh. <laughs> Nobody wants custard Custard's in it. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, Stu, Steve, Johnny and Jill, you're out of time and you are not a winning combination. The only numbers that matter for you are one, three and five, which are the buses home.